Shalom. All praises goes to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The bonus goes into the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me the truth. And much love and peace and blessings goes out to all you hopeful elect brothers that are teaching the word of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerely. Um, this would be a lesson, some thoughts through the spirit that I had. Don't allow, for you brothers out there, you sisters, don't allow your circumstance to make you become bitter, to make you become a complainer, to, to, to make you lose hope and faith in the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because you got to understand what we're a part of. We go through hell that is <laughs> such as common to men, as the scriptures say. A lot of the ups and downs we experience in the truth. It's 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 <coughs> it's you know what we're meant to go through health problems, relationship problems, and the overall vexation of being in a wicked and evil society, it gets to you. But the thing about it is you can't allow all these things to overcome your faith or overcome your thanksgiving. And your connection with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you got to see what he's doing inside of you. Not outside of you, but inside of you. Because these very same troubles which I speak of, they only come upon us really to make us better. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he does all things for his elect's sake and he tests you. He tests you. He puts you through things to see if you're going to maintain that level of credibility and faith and positivity towards him. You see, we can't can't allow these circumstances which we're going through to, to, to turn us into some negative, bitter creature, man. We should we should use these, you know, and in the moment it's much easier said than done because brothers have their moments where they, you know, you don't feel like talking to nobody. You know, you, you're, you're angry, you're messed up in the spirit because of what you're going through. And that's that's normal. But you have to have a certain level of bounds in your spirit and in your mind of what the Lord is doing. And, and always have your, your you know, your face. Uh, don't have your eyes in the rear of you, maybe have your eyes on the road that's ahead of you which is salvation, which is even more hell that's going to come upon the elect as we get closer to the end. Having to deal with a diverse sort of temptations and situations that we're going to go through. You know, so we got to keep that in mind and always stay positive, stay thankful to the Heavenly Father no matter what. Because given the fact, given if we are those elect, given that we, if we are, destined to be saved it's very much worth it it's very much worth everything that we go through it's worth it this this the, the chance at salvation and the chance at being the first fruits onto a chariot is worth everything you can hope to gain in this world and more so this is hebrews 12 and, 12 and 15 it says looking diligently lest any man fail of the grace of the most high <laughs> lest any root of bitterness springing up trouble you and thereby many be defiled and that would can spring up through these diverse temptations and situations that we deal with hell at the job your job your 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 boss reprimanding you for stuff that you didn't do talking down on you throwing shade at you uh certain family members talking down on you saying you're weird saying you're in a cult saying this or that about you but, hey, through all of this stuff, have a good cheer. Like it tells you in the book of Sirach, the second chapter, you're supposed to have a good cheer. And a good cheer is like a good facial expression. It's a certain countenance about you that you have through these situations, man. At some point, you got to you got to pick up the pieces and, and continue moving. And it's hard. You know, it's, it's this. This is this, hard, man. The situations we go through be hard. Heartbreak. Your woman leaving you or she bailing out with your kids, man, that's that's heartbreaking as a man. They could fuck you up. But you gotta understand that we're called to something much better. We're in the in, in the office of the priest of the most high, the priest of Yahweh Bashimel Shai, mediating between him and men. 
mediating between Yahweh Shai and men to push these prophecies and to push the, the words of life unto our people and to keep doing so until that's no longer the task. You see? And actually, I want to look up this word for bitterness, that root of bitterness, eh? Hey, because that, a hey, if during the process of being in the truth, we see that happen with certain guys. They become bitter from different situations in the world. Then they start taking out on the brotherhood. Then they start bugging out towards the doctrine. And they start acting out. But that all happens from that root of bitterness being put on you, you know? This is literally, figuratively, literally or figuratively bitterness, acridity, especially poison, bitter gal, extreme wickedness, a bitter root, and so producing a bitter fruit. Metaphorically, bitterness, bitter hatred. And you can't be in that bitter spirit. Everyone knows what a bitter person looks like. Negative all the time, speaking down, speaking evil into your life, man. Speak good into your lives, brothers. Because even through the hell that we go through, it's it's way, it's way ways out of it. You know what I'm saying? Your woman dropped you. Hey, well, get a new woman. Or you got to focus more on the spirit. Or your kids I can't be in your life for a certain reason. Well, hey, that's why you got brothers. That's why you got uh, uh, a, a whole heap of, of truth and, you know, wisdom in the scriptures to digest. You know, you're going through hell out of job. Well, most high can open up ways where you can get a different job or you can move more wisely at the job you are. So, you know, your employers can ease up or so forth. And, and, and sometimes, sometimes there is nothing you could do as a man. Sometimes there is no way that you can physically or mentally work your way out of this situation. But you just got to go through it, man. You just got to go through it and maintain that good report with the spirit, man, with the spirit praying, fasting. And you got to see your way out. That's where the faith comes in, because when all the devices which have been exhausted, everything has been exhausted of what you can do or say or pray. That's where your faith comes in. And that's why faith is so much. Po that's why faith is so powerful. And that's why only faith is going to get us through, man. That's it. OK. So let's go here in Philippians 1 and verse 6. It says, being confident. And when you have confidence, it means you believe in yourself. Being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you. And what's the good work that was started within us? Is that the moment we knew that we were the sons of God, man. The moment that we knew we were Hebrew Israelites and that the Bible was our book and we had to dive into it, digest it, eat of this book. And preach it. Flip the talents. That's the good work. It says, in you will, a good work in you will perform it until the day of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So you have to be confident that, look, and this statement was not made for no reason. Because think about it. This is Paul speaking to the church at Philippi. So be that as it may, you can go through circumstances and situations where you don't, you feel like the Most High is leaving you. You feel like he's placed you on the outs, so to speak. But you have to remain faithful. Remain faithful, man. Remain confident that he started the work in you and he will finish as long as you abide in him. You have to abide in him. Live in him. Live in his truth. Watch lessons. Read the scriptures. Do lessons. You know, keep going. Because I know brothers out there, man, we experiencing fucking hell right now. We experiencing hell. Brothers are fighting demons in their mind all the day long. You don't want to be here. It's like these people are rejoicing at an all time fucking high, bro, and it pisses you the fuck off, man. Especially when you're a man of the Lord, you understand these people are evil and wicked. And nothing that these people are talking about is good. Nothing that these people are talking about gives thanks to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. We're the only ones giving him that praise and thanks. But yet, we're suffering like this. But it's for a reason, man. We're suffering like this for a reason. Because the Most High is he's about to flip, flip the fucking script on these people, man. And you got to trust in that. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is about to flip the fucking script. 
And he's about to turn us up on a whole new level. Okay? So take a look at this one. I, I don't know if this is the last one I'm going to get. But, um. Matter of fact, let's get this one first. This is the book of Colossians 2 and 7. It says, rooted. Now, when something is rooted, it has a foundation that's sure, not easily lifted up by different things, trials and tribulations. You maintain and stay upon that routine which you have become familiar with, which is, again, tapping into the brotherhood, pushing this word, watching, watching, man, watching for these prophecies. It says, and built up in him and established in the faith as you have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. So abounding, meaning increasing. When something abounds, it increases, it gets better, it gets stronger, and so forth. But you have to do this with thanksgiving, thanking the Lord for the levels that he puts you on. Or even thanking you for extreme lessons that he puts you through. Hell that he puts you through. Because you know what? That hell, after you go through it, like it said, like the saying goes, hindsight is twenty twenty. You start to realize things about yourself. You start to realize the mistakes you've made. And you realize it and move better. And pray for the pray to the Lord to give you that, that prudence, that skill. To be able to look at yourself and be honest with yourself. Be honest with where you lack and to improve it, man. You know? It says, as ye have been taught, abound in therein with thanksgiving. So always give thanks, bros. Don't be negative and fucked up all the time. And it's getting to the point where you're blaming the most high. And you, man, that's that. you should never be in that fucking spirit, man. That's unacceptable. That's unfucking acceptable. Cause that, you know, if you don't, if you understood the love, and how about Shimmy how shy I have for you, you would never quite second guess what he's doing with you. This is the book of Sirach 39 and verse 33. It says, All the works of the Yahweh by Shimmy how shy are good, and he will give every needful thing in due season. See that? He will give us every new single thing that we need for this faith and for this walk when it's the proper time. You know, and we got to maintain that and believe that, man. He will give every needful thing when it's time, bros. Whether it's the increase of even spiritual things. When it's time for you to increase in wisdom. When it's time for that candle in you to shine brighter. When it's time for you to be stronger, more tough, more manly. When it's time for you to increase in your wealth or how much money you're making. When it's time for you to increase in, in all these sorts of diverse things that Yahweh Shai got stored for you. And he's just he's just waiting to give it to you. He's going to give it to you, man. But just make, maintain faith. Don't bug out. Don't get that root of bitterness in you. Okay? Keep going, bros. So with that, you know, hopefully this was edifying. All praise goes to you. How about Shimei Shai and Shalom?